What's the first thing that comes into your mind? Oh, yeah, a wide open field. A wide open field. Beautiful. So as you're looking at this wide open field, I'd like for you to describe this field for me. What does it look like? Just grass. How tall is this grass? Knee high. Mm -hmm. What else do you see besides just the grass? Look around you. What do you experience? Seems like there's like a mountain range in the distance. A mountain range in the distance. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at this, I'd like for you to tell me from what perspective do you see this? Are you on the ground or above? Mm, yeah, on the ground. On the ground. Very good. So I'd like for you to just focus on the observer of this wide open field. And I'd like for you to tell me, do you feel that the grass is higher than you? Or are you, is it like up to your knees or are you taller than the grass? Let's look at that perspective. Yeah, I'm taller than the Very grass. good, very good. So I'd like for you now to focus on the body that is in this field. And tell me, look down at your feet. What do you imagine is on those feet? What do you sense? What are they like? Just uh, regular feet. Regular feet. Are these feet wearing shoes or are they barefooted? Mm, they're like sandals. Like sandals. Very good. And let's look now and see, are those feet male feet or female feet? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. Are you a child or an adult? Let's take a look at your age. Mm, I feel like an adult. Very good. So now let's focus on the rest of your body and tell me what the rest of your body feels like. Take a look at your frame. You're tall, short, thin, heavy. What does it look like? Mm, just like a muscular build. Muscular. Very good. Tell me more. What do you look like? Mm, I feel like I got. Mm. Like armor on. Mm -hmm. You have armor on. Where on your body do you have armor? Um, like on my forearms mm -hmm. and in my, on my chest. Okay. What about below your your chest? What do you see as far as clothing there? What does it look like? A skirt. Like a skirt. Very good. What color is this skirt? Just like a brown. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now take a look at your face and tell me what do you look like? Look at your hair, your eyes. What does it look like? I feel like I have a beard. Mm -hmm. You have a beard? Long, long hair. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Mm -hmm. I'd say late 30s. 
Mm -hmm. Late 30s, very good. So let's find out what it is that you're doing in this open field. I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely to this body, looking out through the eyes, knowing the thoughts, and tell me what's happening in this field. Why are you there? Use your knowing. Mm, I feel like I'm looking for somebody. You're looking for somebody. When you think about looking for somebody, is it somebody that you know? You'll know the story. Who is this person to you? Yeah, like a child. Like a child. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what's happened. I'm going to count from five back to one. And what we find out before you in this field, what happened? Why are you here? Taking a deep breath in now. Five. Going back further. Going deeper and deeper into this wonderful state. Four. Allowing the knowing to come forward. Three. Deeper and deeper into the story. Two. And one. Be there now connect. Look around you. Is it daytime or nighttime? What do you sense? Nighttime. Nighttime. Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors. All right. So look around you and tell me where you are. It feels like uh, inside a house. Inside a house, like very good. Like a cottage. Like a cottage, very good. Tell me more. Tell me about this cottage. I'm in the kitchen. You're in the kitchen. Tell me what the kitchen looks like. What's in there? Just the wooden table. Mm -hmm. There's a table. What else do you see? Like a stove. Like right? a stove. Mm. What else is in there? Are you alone, or are there others with you? I'm alone. All right. As you are in this home, do you sense that you live here by yourself, or is there someone else there with you? Use your senses. I feel like I live alone. You live alone. Very good. And how old are you there? In your 20s, very good. And take a look at your body there. Is this the same body as before? Yes. Very good. Very good. So let's see what's going on in this place. Tell me about what's happening today in your home. Uh, what is it that you're doing there? Just in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do something in this kitchen. I'd like for you to close this scene and open it up again when you are eating something in this kitchen. See yourself now eating something at this table.
While you do that, I'm going to be adjusting this. Go ahead and see yourself and tell me what you see in front of you on that table. Mm, just like a play with uh, some like stew or meat. Mm -hmm. Stew or meat, uh huh. Some bread. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look and see if anybody is sitting with you at the table. Look around. Are you by yourself or is there somebody with you? I'm by myself. All right. So I want you to just to center yourself there and tell me, how do you feel there eating by yourself? Check in. Are you happy? What do you feel? Alone. I feel alone. Mm -hmm. Upset. And upset. Let's find out what it is that you're upset about. Allow yourself now to remember what's happened. What's happened? Were you always alone there? Yeah, feels like it. Mm -hmm. Go deep into your emotions and find out what it is that's making you upset. It just feels like nobody's been around for a long time. Nobody's been around for a long time and you're feeling lonely. Yeah. Mm hmm. I feel very isolated. I feel very isolated. Mm -hmm. so. so let's see what happens next. We're going to now close the scene and go to the next significant event in your lifetime there. When something impacts your life. Be there now. And tell me where you are. Look all around you. What is this place where you are now? Use all of your senses to feel it through. Are you indoors or outdoors? I feel outdoors. Outdoors, very good. So just feel your way through this. I want you to just sense everything around you. Sense the temperature in the air, what you're wearing, your emotions. Allow yourself to just feel there and tell me where you are. What is this place? Like I'm in the mountains. I'm in the mountains. Very good. Mm. Just by myself. Mm -hmm. Just uh, walking around looking for her. What is you're looking for in the mountains today? Like it's just looking for something to eat. Mm -hmm. Looking for something to eat. Take a look at your hands. Do you have anything in your hands? Just like a spear. Like a spear. Very good. Are you carrying anything? Take a look if there's something on your body. Just like a bag. Like a bag. Very good. So let's find out what it is that's so important today. What happens on the mountain? Walk me through it. Tell me everything you do. Um, 
just walking, looking for a bird mm -hmm. or some sort of animal for my next meal. Mm -hmm. You're looking for your next meal? Yeah. I want you to check in with your body. How is the temperature in this mountain feel? Your body there. Uh, feels warm. Feels warm. Very good. So what happens next? Where do you go looking for your next meal? I'm walking along the rim of a lake. A rim of a lake, very good. What do you see along this rim? Mm, just just a lot of wildlife. Mm -hmm. So, as you see this wildlife. Are any of these going to be your next meal? No, I'm just enjoying the, mm -hmm. the nature of being out in the mountains. Yes. Tell me more, what happens next? Mm -hmm. The more you talk, the more you'll see. Don't stop talking. I feel like I'm just a lot older now and just mm -hmm. walk, walking around and wondering where other people are. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel now? Like in my 60s. Mm -hmm. Are you still alone? Yes. Mm -hmm. Has anybody been with you your entire life? No. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, I'm just connected with the wildlife. Yes. Nature. Connected with nature. Very good. So I'd like for you now to close this scene and go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself on the last day and tell me where you are. Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Indoors? Look around you. Where is this place where you are? Just inside the same cottage. Mm -hmm. I think on my bed. How old are you there? I like in my 80s. Mm -hmm. Check in with your body and see what's going on with your body. Very heavy heart. Very good. Tired. Tired. So I'd like for you to take your last breath there. Allow yourself to take that last breath and release yourself from that body. Release that body and tell me what you see as you leave that body behind. Where do you go? What do you see? What happens next? What do you see around you? Just black. Just black.
black. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens in that black. Does anyone come to meet you? Take a look and see. What happens? What's the first thing that you see? in the black. What do you feel? Mm, just... Do you go anywhere when you're in that black? Come out in space. You're out in space. Very good. Describe to me everything that you see in your mind's eye. What do you sense out in space? Use all of your senses. Use your knowing. What do you know is there? Just a vast, vast space of stars. Mm -hmm. Vast space of stars. Can you travel through this space? See if you can travel. Yes, I can. Yeah, it feels like I could fly. Very good. So allow yourself to fly and let's see where you're targeting. Look in front of you. Where are you going to as you fly through space? What do you notice? I'm coming up upon a planet. Describe this planet for me. Does it have a color? Yeah, red in color. Red in color, very good. So as you get closer to the planet, describe to me what you see or experience. What do you notice about this planet? Use all of your senses. There's like a city. Like a city, very good. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this city. Is it a modern city or an old city? Yeah, it feels kind of futuristic. Futuristic. Tell me what is in this city. What makes it look futuristic? Uh, the buildings are... on different patterns. Mm -hmm. Geometric shapes and... Spaceships. You see spaceships also? Yep. So the, the buildings are different geometric shapes. What are they made out of? Uh, like crystal or glass. Crystal or glass. Can you see through these buildings? Um, they got really shiny like windows. Shiny windows. Very good. So as you're looking at this city, tell me from what perspective you see it. Are you on the ground or above it? Above. Above it, very good. So if you're above it, you can see things very clearly. What else do you see there? Describe everything you see. What's in this city? 
Yeah, there's a bunch of people just coming and going. People are coming and going. Would you describe to me what these people are looking like? Mm, it seems like Humanoid, but just wearing robes. Mm-hmm. Humanoid wearing robes. Like, um, looking just like humans, but their clothes are different. Mm-hmm. What color are these robes? Um, like blue. Like what? Blue. Blue robes. Mm-hmm. And are these people walking? Yes, mm-hmm. some of them, yes. Mm-hmm. Tell me what it is that they're doing. Get a closer look. Describe everything you see. What do you see? I feel like um, just kind of like a city center. Mm-hmm. The city center. People are walking around. And... Mm-hmm. Are there any vehicles in the city center? Yeah, it feels like I've, I've been here before. I've been here before. Very good. So I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely to this place to see where it is that you've been and be there now. I want you to look through the eyes of that body in this place. And tell me where you are. You feel that you have a body there. Take a look at your arms. Do you have arms or hands? The more you talk, the more you'll see. Keep talking. Mm, yeah, it feels like a kind of light body. A light body? Mm hmm. Like bluish color. Bluish color, mm hmm. Now, can this light body walk? Uh, yes. Very good. So, as you're in this place, I'd like for you to look around and let's walk and see where you are. Where is this place that you go to? I see the Pleiades. The Pleiades, mm hmm. What do you experience? I feel like I'm in a council. In a council, mm hmm. Describe this place for me, please. It's a large room. Large room. beings. Mm -hmm. Are there beings there? Do these other beings look like you? Mm, some of them. Mm -hmm. Describe these beings for me. What do they look like? Mm, one has got the oval shaped eyes with the, mm -hmm. like a large oval head. A large oval head. Mm -hmm. Does the oval come sideways or up and down? It's more up and down. Mm -hmm. Very good. What kind of body does this being have with the oval head and eyes? It's kind of greenish in color. Greenish in color. Mm -hmm. Is this being wearing any clothes? Like a like a robe. What color is that robe? Like white. Mm -hmm. What else do you know about this being? Mm, it seems very wise. Mm, very good. Who else is on this council? Blonde hair, mm -hmm. white skin. Blonde hair and white skin. 
Mm-hmm. A male will see me. A male? What is that body like? Like a human. Like a human. What is this human wearing? Kind of like a jumpsuit. Mm-hmm. What color is the jumpsuit? Mm-hmm. What else do you see? There's a table. Mm-hmm. Table. Look around table. Tell me more. I feel like I'm here to discuss some sort of mission. Mm-hmm. I'm here to discuss some sort of mission. Tell me more. Tell me about this mission. What is the mission about? I think they're, they're just looking for people who want to help. Seems mm-hmm. like there's some sort of sort of war going on. There's a war going on, they're looking for people who want to help? Yeah. Uh-huh. So I'd like for you to connect with the minds of this council. Their thoughts will be yours. And let's find out what this war is all about and where it is. It's some sort of galactic war. A galactic it's, war? It's been happening for a very long time. Mm-hmm. So why are you there? Are you one of the council? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is your role on this council? What do you do? advice to give advice very good so I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely to this council table feel yourself now completely there and I'd like for you now to begin giving the advice Do you tell them? What has to be done about this galactic war? What is this all about? This advice that you're giving them? Uh, we've been trying to make peace agreements with the feel what feels like uh, reptilians. Mm-hmm. You're trying to make peace agreements with the reptilians? Tell me more. need to figure out the next plan mm-hmm. of action. It's Tell me what's happened. Concern for, for Earth. Mm-hmm. 
concern for Earth. What is the what are the reptilians doing to the Earth? I thought this was a war. Is Earth part of this war? That's that's the infiltration of, of Earth. And Who has infiltrated Earth? The reptilians. Council's concerned that the Earth population doesn't understand mm -hmm. the complexity of, of these reptilians coming in. Tell me more. What have they done to Earth? have come to control Earth population and the Council's upset that something needs to be done. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that the Council decides. I'd like for you to fast forward to see what the resolution is of this. What is decided? They've decided to to observe mm -hmm. and not to allow the, the Earth population to fight their own battles and quarantine and not allow other reptilians to come in. Mm -hmm. How are these reptilians being quarantined? What power does this council have to quarantine? They have a fleet, a fleet of ships that are on the outskirts of Earth, watching and making sure that Nothing's coming in or going out. All right. Who's going to be on this mission? Are they going to be citizens from the Pleiades? Uh, Let's find out. It's a mix of different galactic federations. Mm -hmm. So what role do you play on there as advisor? Are you part of them? Or are you different from a different place? Let's find out what your role is in this place. Is this your home, or do you visit this place? Yeah, it feels like my home. Mm -hmm. Very good. So we're going to find out now what happens next in this lifetime. I'd like for you to close the scene. Close the scene completely, and now I'd like for you to move forward in time and space to see what happens next the next significant event in that lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? It 
look around you. Are you still with the council or somewhere else? What do you, what do you sense? I sense I'm on a ship. I sense I'm on a ship. Very good. Tell me more. Um, I feel like I'm observing Earth from a distance. Mm -hmm. What do you see as you observe? What is it? The pain and the struggles of earthlings. The pains and struggles of earthlings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you feel it yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you can do about it? No, no. We're, we're just observing it. Mm -hmm. I did not to get involved. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel knowing that you made that decision? It's very difficult to, to feel it. And then know that people from Earth don't fully understand mm -hmm. what's happening. Are you the only one on this ship, or are there others with you? Take a look. I feel like it's a large ship, but I'm in command. That you're in command? So as being commander of this ship, do you make any decisions about this, this galactic war and Earth struggling? It was part of our council's decision to just, for the time being, to watch and observe. Mm -hmm. So we're just making sure that none of the reptilians try to escape. Mm -hmm. What do you do if you find reptilians going close to Earth? Is that your responsibility? No. No, there's a, a team mm -hmm. that can disable any other ships that come around. All right, so you're just an observing ship? Yes. All right, very good. So let's close this scene and let's move forward in that same lifetime when something else important happens, something that impacts your life. Be there now. Look around you. What do you experience? Are you indoors or outdoors now? Indoor, it spills indoors. Indoors, uh-huh. Take a look indoors. Where are you? Feels like somewhere where I'm laying down. Wait, you're laying down? Mm, like a little bedroom. Mm hmm. Let's find out if you're alone or others were with you. Look around. This feels like a bedroom. A bedroom. What is the reason you've come here to be alone? Just tired. Just tired. Very good. 
So let's go now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Close this scene and go to the last day of your life. And tell me where you are. Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Indoors. Tell me where you are. Connect with your body there. Feels like the same bedroom. Same bedroom, Mm -hmm. Uh uh-huh. Do you feel that your body has some sort of illness? No, I feel no. just really, really old and old. Okay, very good. So just take your last breath. Take your last breath in that body and just allow yourself to disconnect. Disconnect, leaving that body there behind, leaving that life behind. And as you disconnect from that body, I'd like for you to tell me what is the purpose of that lifetime? What is the purpose of that life that you just lived? What is it all about? Mm, To practice compassion. To practice compassion. Do you think you did a good job in that lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any lessons from there? Yes, as much as you want to get involved and you want to help some Sometimes you just have to let others fight their own battles, Mm -hmm. make their own mistakes, learn their own lessons. Very good. So I'd like to know how it is that this lifetime that you've just seen is affecting the lifetime of Roy. How is that lifetime affecting him? He wants to help people. He's constantly looking for ways to uh, to help Mm -hmm. others. Is that because he didn't get involved while he was on that spaceship? Yes, he he struggles with wanting to help others, but realizing. Others are here for a reason. Mm -hmm. They have their own lessons to learn. So he's really in the same situation as he was on that ship. Yes. Just observing. Yes. Mm -hmm. But on that ship, he was the commander. What kind of... What kind of uh, skills is he bringing forth in this life in order to help others? Bringing forth that... The skills of the commander? Yes, he's got a lot of wisdom. Mm-hmm. And compassion for others. He feels like he wants to do more. Mm-hmm. What's stopping him? He says he has healing hands. He's been taking Reiki. What else can he do to help other people? He struggles because he's he is an observer. Mm-hmm. He, he gets he gets into that observer mode and doesn't want to move forward. Mm-hmm. For he needs to. Is that what's blocking him? He talks about feeling blocked. Is he blocking himself by being an observer? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. Did he choose to block himself? Yes. He... He... Doesn't he doesn't move forward because he thinks he just needs to watch and observe. Mm. So is that why his third eye is blocked? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Because if he opens it, he's going to have to see more. Yes, he'll have to move forward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what's keeping him from moving forward? Can we identify what that is? What's the emotion that he feels that's keeping him blocked? Fear. Fear. All right. So let's locate that fear, please. I'd like for you to scan his body and let's find out where he's keeping that fear. Where is he housing it? Where is that fear in his body? In his stomach. All right, let's zoom in on his stomach and let me tell, let me find out what does that fear look like? Does it have a color or a shape? Yeah, it's dark. It's dark. All right. What feeds feeds that fear? Unworthy. Unworthy. What is this memory of unworthy? Like a small village. A small village. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. And look at yourself in that village. You're in the 60s. How are you dressed? Check out how it is. What do you look like there? Look at your social status. How is, are you dressed? Just very plain. Very plain. Mm -hmm. Just regular clothes. Mm -hmm. Take a look around you. What is this village like? Is it a poor village? or? Yeah, it's just a small little town. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you're doing in this small town? Do you live there? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? Mm, I have a little shop. I have a little shop. What where, is this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where I sell herbs and medicine to all the people in the town. Mm -hmm. Do you help heal these people from the town? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you feel about doing this? Mm, I'm happy uh, I could help so many people. Very good. So I'd like for you now to see yourself doing what it is that you do. Be there now. How is it that you help heal people? When people are sick, they come to me. Mm -hmm. I put my hands on them and where they're having pain, I help soothe their pain. Mm -hmm. I can give them medicine that will also help. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to see how it is that you help them. You can see the energy. What do you see from his hands? I see the light coming from his hands. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you to connect completely with that body, acclimate yourself completely with that body, and feel what it is that you're feeling. From those hands. It's like my hands are on fire. Mm -hmm. Just flowing. Mm -hmm. Tons of energy. Mm -hmm. Is that energy going out or coming in? What does it feel like? Mm, pushing it out. Pushing it out. Very good. So allow yourself to see the complete healing and tell me what happens. Mm, 
there's a little boy that comes in. He's got a severe stomach ache. Mm -hmm. I lay him on the bed. And I give him some sort of tincture mm -hmm. to help with the pain. And I put my hands on his stomach. And I can feel, yeah, something inside him. Some sort of entity or attachment. Mm -hmm. What do you do? As soon as I put my hands on his stomach, I can feel it wanting to get out. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I I can pull I pull the that energy up through his throat and out of his mouth mm -hmm. and send it off to. What happens to this child? It's too much. I think it was too much trauma. Too much trauma, what happens? Well, he passes away. Mm -hmm. So what does that do to you? It makes me feel like I was the cause of it. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens after this boy. Do you continue? doing what you do. No, I feel like I turn it off or I shut down. Mm -hmm. People come to me and still want my help. I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So let's close this scene now. Let's continue into the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself in the last day of that life. And tell me where you are. I'm outside. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I went for a walk and I sat under a tree. Just decided I've done everything I could do. Mm -hmm. Now it's just time to go. All right, take your last breath. Allow yourself to detach from that body. And now that you have left that body, look back at that lifetime. Every lifetime has a purpose and a lesson. What was your purpose in that lifetime? It's basically to heal people. Mm -hmm. Help them. Do you feel that you succeeded in that purpose? Up until the point where mm -hmm. I feel like I used my gifts and hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. So what was the lesson in that? Mm -hmm. That I can't 
can control when the soul's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now I'd like for you to go ahead and meet with your guides. Allow yourself now to float and drift and meet with your guides after that lifetime and tell me what your guides tell you. What do you experience? I think I did a good job. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Looking back, I do see that I help many people. Mm -hmm. But there's some hesitation there. They say you did well, but it doesn't sound very convincing that you feel that you did a good job. Is this something that you are affecting Royhan? Yes. Mm -hmm. How are you affecting this lifetime? For what reason? So as to not harm another person. Mm -hmm. Is that beneficial for Roy, who wants to help other people? No. No. What would you like to assist him with? To unblock it. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and call in your guides and let's see where it is that we need to unblock Roy's abilities to heal let's do a scan on his body and see where it is that he has this blockage where is this blockage? in his head very good so we're going to do something now we're going to take a clear quartz crystal and we're going to put it on his third eye and I want you to go ahead and begin to unblock his third eye and his head I'd like for you to go ahead and use that power of that crystal to begin breaking through anything that's blocking his head and tell me what's happening. I feel light coming in. Mm -hmm. and what else do you feel? Tell me it was when it's been completely cleared out. Okay. Very good. So now let's take a look at that head and see how it looks now. 
compared to before. He was suffering from headaches, neck pain, what was causing all of this? Do you see there? Has that been cleared? I still feel blockage in the Mm -hmm. neck. All right, let's find out what's in the neck. I'd like for you to identify the neck and see if it's something that he has put there or it's something attached to him. Let's find out. What is in his neck? is that? What has he put in his neck? Feels like something foreign. Something foreign. All right, so I'd like for you to go ahead and identify if it's something that's been placed there or something that's attached to him. What is that? Is it an entity or is it something different? What does it feel like? Does it seem to have a mind of its own? All right, let's find out. I'm going to take my energy and scoop that up. Scoop it up, up, up. And allow you now to speak. You can express yourself now. Are you male or female? What kind of energy are you? Are you male or female? There's a spiritual law that says when I ask you a question, you need to respond. This energy that is in his neck, does it have a gender? Yes or no? No. No. Tell me what you are. What kind of energy are you? What kind of consciousness are you? Have you ever had a human body before? No. No. Have you ever had a body before? No. So tell me what it is that you are that is affecting his neck. What kind of consciousness are you that can affect his neck? What kind of consciousness are you? Are you foreign or are you of the earth? Foreign. Foreign. Where are you from? Where do you 
come from? There's no name. There's no name. So how is it that Roy was able to accept you into his body? Were you put there by somebody? Or did you come on your own? All right. So what is it that made Roy so vulnerable that you were able to attach to his neck? What made him so vulnerable? When did you attach to him? He was five. He was almost choked. When he was five, he was almost choked? He was going to die. He was choking. Mm Mm-hmm. And what happened? Did you take that moment? Yes. Mm-hmm. So what have you been doing to Roy all this time? Have you? How have you been influencing him? Giving him headaches. Headaches? Mm-hmm. What else? Give him limited thoughts. What kind of thoughts? Limited thoughts. Limited thoughts. Mm-hmm. What else have you been giving him? Unworthy thoughts. What kind of thoughts? Thoughts of being unworthy. Being unworthy. Mm-hmm. Why is it that you're giving him all of these thoughts and headaches? So he can't be bright. So what is it that you're doing to his light? Dimming it. Dimming it? For what purpose? Why do you need to dim his light? Is it hurting you? What do you get from dimming his light? It's easier to stay attached. Ah, and what would happen to you if you fell off? What would happen to you? Would you be lost? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where did you come from? That you need this body to survive. Top forms. Top forms? Top forms. Thought forms. Did he create you? Or did someone else create you? Your, your collection of thought forms? So it means that whatever thoughts there are creates you? Yes, in the negative. Ah, in the negative. And why not in the positive? Because if you're a thought form, you can either be negative or positive. It makes no difference. You've been created.
If you're a thought form, your consciousness doesn't know any difference. You just created in that form, is that true? A collection of very low vibrational thought forms. Mm-hmm. How would you like to be higher vibrational? Because everything, all consciousness has evolution. And if you're at the lowest vibration, it seems to me that you may have been attracted to his light because perhaps you wanted to evolve. Would you like to see what it feels like to be evolved? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do something for you today. We're going to expand the light that Roy has inside of his body. He's going to begin now to bring in the source light right through the top of his head. And we're going to beam that very powerful light, that high vibration into you. And I want you to see how that light affects you and raises your vibration. Begin now to transmit that light to this thought form. And I'd like for you, thought form, to tell me how that changes you. How does this powerful light affect you? Feel that light. Feel it expanding your consciousness. Feel the love as it expands inside of you. Feel that vibration getting higher and higher, becoming light yourself. Allow yourself to feel almost like a cloud floating with this beautiful, brilliant light and love within. And tell me how that feels. Very good. And now that you feel light, you can continue floating beyond this body. Allow yourself now to continue to feed off of this light coming from source. I'd like for you now to begin detaching yourself from this body. And let's begin following that light. Allow yourself to float higher and higher in vibration. And tell me when you have completely detached from this body. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. May the light of the universe always accompany you. And now I'd like to focus on that space that we had that was dark in the stomach. And let's take a look at it now and see if that unworthiness is gone. look. Yes. Very good. So now that we have taken care of the head, let's take a look and see if there's anything in the neck that's left. No. no. Was that this entity thought form that was there? Mm -hmm. Now, he has also said that he had some sort of a red coloring on his face. Let's find out what that, that rash on his face is all about, on his cheeks and his forehead. Let's find out what it is. Let's do a scan of it and see what's causing the skin to burst out in this color. What is that? What's causing that? It's the 
energy that was blocked. In it was energy. in it. Okay, very good. Now that that energy is flowing freely, well, how is that going to affect his his face now? Will he be able to release it? Yes, you have better energy flow. Very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin flowing that energy through the body all the way down to the feet. And let's send that energy down to Mother Earth, grounding him. Allow it to just flow right out. Flow right out. Let it go. Let it go. Allow it to flow back to Mother Earth. And he was telling me that he felt blocked in his spiritual growth and wants to know why he keeps falling asleep during meditation. He can't seem to remember his dreams. He can't seem to advance in his spiritual awakening. What was holding him back? Mm -hmm. the blockage. The blockage. So now when he meditates, what would you like to advise that Roy do to meditate so he doesn't fall asleep? to a comfortable place. Yeah. It's to be at the uh, same time every day. Mm -hmm. And he needs to try meditating with his eyes open and focusing on something. All right. So perhaps a candle or something like that? Yes. Okay. Is this something that he can do at work? Yes, if it's place where he can concentrate. Very good. So she also tells me that he cannot remember his dreams. Why is that? Why are those dreams being blocked? He is. He often goes back to the council mm -hmm. and he's very, very busy. Mm -hmm. So, was an aspect of him on the Pleiades, on the spaceship? Yes. Okay, very good. Why is it that he came here to Earth? What was his mission? Did the council give him a mission? Yes, he's here to help heal humanity, mm -hmm. to spread compassion. Everybody he comes into contact with. Mm -hmm. Now he's been studying Reiki. Is there something else that he can be using, other tools to help humanity? Yes, he's, he's looked into other modalities and mm -hmm. he's. We've guided him so that he can start to 
continue the down that path. Mm -hmm. He had asked that about hypnosis. Is that a, one of the modalities, or something else? Yes, he'd be good at that. Mm -hmm. Very good. He also wants to start a spiritual community center, open it up with a restaurant, and um, he was wanting to know if that's some sort of a calling for him, a career opportunity. Who's been planting that idea in his mind? Yes, this is something that I've been getting him to focus on. Mm -hmm. He needs to focus his attention on helping a large amounts of people rather mm -hmm. than individual one-on-one -on -one sessions. Okay. Now, he does have a full-time job now and doesn't see himself staying in that field for a long time. What would you advise would be his new career path? Yes, it's, we will be guiding him to continue down this healing mm -hmm. journey. He'll, he'll start getting a reputation and getting well known. Mm -hmm. Eventually, he'll be able to stop his current job. Okay. But he wants to have more spiritual experiences. It seems like he's been blocked. He knows that his third eye was blocked, and now we've done some work on him. Will he be able to see auras in the future? or astral travel, or have lucid dreams. That seems to be his desire. Yes, if he focuses his thoughts and his attention, he can accomplish those things. He's, he's got a very busy mind. Mm -hmm. He wants to do a lot and he just needs to focus on one task at a, at a time. Good. What task would be appropriate for him to start with? To see auras would be the first thing. Very good. So I'd like to ask on his behalf for a guide that will help him find the right information so that he can begin seeing auras. Is that okay? Yes. Very good. He also wants to experience a kundalini awakening. Will this happen? Yes. Mm -hmm. He wants to know when. Is it soon or will it take some time? Now that he's unblocked, he's going to start to accelerate that process. Mm -hmm. Good. He also wants to be able to have some sort of connection to the Akashic Records. He wants to be able to access the records for his spiritual growth. And I know that in this session we access the Akashic Records to get information about his lives. So how can he maintain this connection to the Akashic Records so that he can see more and use it to help others? He's got a book that discusses the prayers. Mm -hmm. If he focuses on using those prayers and practices it daily, he's going to get a lot better at using them. Good. So he needs to discipline himself. Yes. Very good. He wants to have more spiritual experiences with the higher self, the guides, and the angels. He also wants more confirmation. Has the higher self been communicating with him already? Yes, we communicate daily. Mm -hmm. So why is it that he doesn't feel he's getting enough confirmation? He, he knows the messages that we send to him mm -hmm. are from us. He knows those are deliberate. 
yeah, he just questions how mm -hmm. we deliver those messages, and he just believes that that it's by coincidence, and, and yet he also knows that there are no coincidences. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of trusting that we're in constant communication. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems to me that since Roy is a software um, systems engineer, he knows how to do programming. And he knows that you can hack into things, reprogram them, and make them work a certain way. And I know that the spiritual world is very much like a software program. So are you able to hack in to his everyday existence so that he can receive messages? Yes, he's on a constant pursuit of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And everything we put in front of him is for a reason. Mm -hmm. There isn't a message that he reads that we haven't put there. Mm -hmm. So you're basically hacking his system, putting it on there. Yes, we're putting the messages in front of him. Very good. So as a software systems engineer, he understands now that this is how it works? Yes, he's known. He just doesn't want to believe it. <laughs> Very good. So can I ask on his behalf for more confirmation in the future so that he gets more aha moments? Yes. Thank you. He has a strong connection to the Arcturians and was told that he has ties to the Pleiadians. Now, we already saw that his home is in the Pleiadians, the Pleiades. Can you tell him about the Arcturians? How is he connected with them? Yes, he's had lifetimes as Arcturian. Mm -hmm. Part of those lifetimes is what's helped him with his healing hands. Ah, very good. Does he have any Arcturians now that are assisting him with his healing hands? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, would you tell him a little bit about what's happening with his diet? He's been battling giving up gluten, dairy, and possibly becoming a vegetarian, and is wondering if there's a reason for this guidance. Yes, we've been... We've been putting this message forward. Mm -hmm. Since his vibration is increasing, he's, he's understanding he no longer needs to consume meat, mm -hmm. and he knows that it's a lower vibrational energy. So what happens when Roy consumes meat? What happens to his energy? It lowers his vibration and also causes some of the stomach issues he's having. Okay, good. So is that where the stomach bloating and pain is coming from? Yes. Okay, good. So once he goes on a clean diet, he should be able to clean his gut? Yes, he just needs to focus on high vibrational food. Mm -hmm. Good. So can I request on his behalf for a guide? that will help him on, on his nutrition and his diet and his exercise? Yes. Very good. Now he's also losing his hair on the back of his head and was wondering if there's any way to prevent this since he's been trying all these natural cures to get it back. What's going on with his hair?
yes, part of it is his diet. Mm-hmm. Once he starts to clean that up, he'll notice a difference. All right, so he needs to get on a clean, live diet? Yes. All right, good. Very good. So I'd like for you to do a scan on his body and see if there's any other parts of his body that you may need to work on today that perhaps we need to flow some energy through. Take a look and see. How does his body look now? Looks good. Looks good. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin flooding him with that beautiful green light I'd like to call my team in, Archangel Raphael, to put in the beautiful green light from head to toe, spinning all of the chakras, allow all of those chakras to begin spinning at full speed, flooding the body with green healing light, go ahead and seal the aura from head to toe all the way around, And I'd like to ask for St. Germain to step forward and put in his beautiful violet flame through this body, allowing all of his energy to be re-energized again with that violet flame, burning off anything that is inconsistent with him using it for healing, burn away any doubts, any fears that may have been allowing him to block his energy and I'd like to ask if there's anything else that you would like to tell Roy today I would just like to tell him not to overthink things and and also he needs to just believe in himself continue continue to focus on energy healing everybody he comes into contact with he's helping he's there's a reason that all the people reaching out to him are coming to him at this time very good is there anything else are we complete today Welcome back. How do you feel? <laughs> Good and warm. Yeah, let's switch these up so you can ground yourself. Wow, what a session. What do you remember? Um, Anything? Everything? What do you feel? Yeah. I, Remember bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. Um, remember being like an older man, just uh, mm-hmm. out in the wilderness, I guess, by yeah. myself. Yeah, very lonely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you see what's that? What what you brought with you into this lifetime? You brought his loneliness. <laughs> yeah. You can now let that go. Yep. How long do you think the session was? What did it feel like to you? Mm, like 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that seemed, seemed How do you fast. feel? Good. Yeah. How does your head feel? Yeah, definitely. Clear? Lighter, yeah. How does your neck feel? Yeah, better. Mm-hmm. You had some entity there. Do you remember? I remember something about a form, but... Mm-hmm. It's a thought form. Uh, yeah, you did great. You did great. Man. So you want to keep this private? Um. What do you think? Yeah, I guess I don't. I don't remember much of. I guess if there's anything personal, I guess I don't. I don't think there was, but. We can pull it out. Yeah. Anything personal we pull out? I think we are. Yeah. Wow, Roy. <laughs> so we had a good session, huh? Yeah, How do you feel? It was, it was good. Yeah, I feel like 
light. You feel light? Yeah, very like everything's kind of lighter because I know my my head was pretty tense earlier. Wow. So, yeah. so this was an amazing session. It, it, it was it was long. Um, <laughs> did you feel that you were having an easy time or? Uh, yeah, I mean it. It seemed like it did start slow and yeah. it was hard to. Were you able to visualize or were you feeling? What was it more like? It was more feeling. Yeah. You see, everybody does things differently. Some people visualize, some people know, and this was a feeling. So, Roy, it seemed like you were trying to get grasp the feeling of what it was during the whole session, right? Yeah, I mean, it yeah. was just a, a lot of... I mean, there was images here and there, but yeah. very sparse. And so, but you were able to get the, still in the information, even though yeah. we were having a difficult time getting it so that's what it's like everybody's different so what did it feel like to be in hypnosis um yeah very like you kind of i mean you're aware of everything but yet it's kind of like you're not around or you're not here I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and you're really not even here how yeah. long did it take you to get here today uh so pretty much since early this morning so yeah. it's been about a seven eight hours worth of flying and yeah jumps. where are you from uh from albuquerque new mexico so. there you go so he's been traveling all day long to get yeah. here right now it's 10 30 at night and uh yeah it's a yeah. it was long yeah i appreciate that yeah yeah so uh do you recommend this experience to other people oh yeah of yeah uh, yeah definitely even maybe do it again so yeah can get a session. well next time you you're going to do it anytime people do a session for the first time you kind of get in the field of the you know the lay of the land and then yeah. the next time you do it, it's like i know i know what i'm doing yep. and most people go right into it really easily yep. and that's happened to many people that have come to me second time it's like second time's a charm yeah but I th I think you felt that you were hypnotized pretty pretty you know yeah it seemed like it seemed to come very easy yeah and, uh, it did it did so um, if you would like a session with me just go to my website albawyman.com go to the link that says uh, the newsletter click on that link sign up and I send the newsletter out about once a month and I'll tell you where I'm going to be holding sessions what sessions are available click on that link immediately like really fast yeah, it's got to be within seconds i, I remember <laughs> just i was i was waiting and waiting for the day and then once i once i got the alert i, I was just was Boom. pushing buttons as quick as i could so. <laughs> and that's what happens so if it's meant to be you will be here trust me that's how it works and uh, usually when you're not here it's because something has to happen in your life first to to get you here to the right time but uh, i hope you enjoyed this session um, I learned a few things here today, you yeah. know, and um, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Until the next one. Bye. Give me that dog.